Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 16.5.1 released today on all iOS 16 supported devices. iOS 16.5.1 is out to everyone around the world at the same time and is available for iPhone 8, 8 plus iPhone 10, all the way up to iPhone 14 pro and 14 pro max. Now this is a fairly small update. As you can see here at 283 megabytes, it was about the same size on all the devices you see here. And Apple also released a ton of other updates, iPad OS 16.5.1, watch OS 9.5.2, Mac OS Ventura 13.4.1, and then a bunch of older updates for older devices, such as iOS 15.7.7 and more. Now, if you're not seeing this update and you're actually a beta tester, you won't have this if you're on iOS 16.6 or iOS 17. You'll have to be on iOS 16.5 or earlier in order to see this. If you go to general software update and you have the beta updates turned on and you have one of the newer versions, you won't see it because you're on a newer version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then we'll go to general, then about. And as you can see, the build number is 20F75. This particular update fixes some issues and also has security updates. Now, the first thing is there is no new modem update in iOS 16.5.1. As far as features, while well, most of those are left for iOS 16.6 and iOS 17, however, Apple did fix an issue specifically for this update, and that has to do with the lightning to USB 3 connector. So this connector was having an issue before where it wouldn't charge connected devices properly. That's now been resolved. So if you're plugging this into your iPhone, you're plugging it into a camera, this will now work properly. That's what they've fixed with this update. They've also updated the security updates as well. So if we go into Safari, here, you'll see if we scroll down under security updates, we already have iOS 16.5.1 and all of the other updates they've released today. There's a ton of them, including watchOS 8.8.1 as well. So if we go into this update and scroll down, you'll see that there's two updates specifically for the kernel and WebKit. The kernel is the underlying code that runs the OS and you'll see the impact was an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS released before iOS 15.7. To fix it, an integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation. They've also fixed an issue with WebKit. That's what runs basically Safari, and it says the impact was processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. To fix it, a type confusion issue was addressed with improved checks. So those are the two major security updates in this. As far as additional fixes well in this update as far as notifications i haven't noticed any difference as far as that goes with notifications being more responsive and being less glitchy however they are still an issue on ios 17 as well so hopefully they fix it with that apple also has not mentioned fixes for anything to do with camera where maybe some of the overall processing is a little different with hdr photos and more so none of that has been addressed this is just to fix the issues i mentioned before and so if you're wondering what the overall battery life is like on this, the battery life will take a few days to measure. Hopefully it's a little bit better as typically after the recent iOS updates come out, it gets a little bit worse over time. This is my phone that I don't use hundred percent of the time. I have to have a bunch of different ones just for all of the different updates, but you'll see we're at 100% battery health on this 14 pro max. Also overall battery life. Again, it will take a few days. We'll have a follow-up later on talking about battery life this weekend as it takes a few days to know if it's any better or worse. As far as performance, I would not expect any difference whatsoever, but everything so far, as far as ProMotion and everything else is smooth and fast. And as far as the overall heat of the device, it was a little warm after reboot. That's typical as it's processing in the background, indexing and more. So give it a couple days usually, and it will be normal. Now, as far as if you should install iOS 16.5.1, I would say absolutely for the security updates and also that fix if you're using the lightning to USB three connector that should resolve those issues for those that regularly use that. Now, as far as future updates, well, iOS 16.6 beta four or release candidate could be any day. It even could be later today or possibly tomorrow.
We're also waiting for iOS 17 beta two. Now last year they released beta two on the 22nd of June. So at this point I would probably expect it tomorrow. Again, it could be later today or it could be tomorrow, or it could even be next week as Apple has said that the public beta is releasing in July. So we could expect it anytime this week or early next week. And then in July, probably tomorrow though, but we don't know that hundred percent is Apple hasn't said. The final release of iOS 17 will go along with iOS 16 updates and betas all the way until the final release in September, where typically Apple releases the iOS update, the next version, in this case, iOS 17, usually the week before the release of the next iPhone or iPhone 15. So September is when we'll see the final version. So there's not a whole lot in this update. Let's take a look at the benchmarks quick. We'll run that in Geekbench 6 and let's see what we have. So we'll run this and see what we get. Now the benchmarks completed and on the right, we have iOS 16.5.1 on the left. We have iOS 16.5. You can see for single core, we scored 2,524 compared to 2,527 before. However, the multi-core score is higher at 6,150 compared to 6,127. I would not expect any performance differences, but it's always nice to see a little bit more improvement here. As far as the benchmarks go, basically I would expect it to be a very stable security and bug patch update. I'd love to hear from you though. If you've found anything else in iOS 16.5.1, let me know in the comments below. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.